Hello everyone, it's Curtis Fitch here. Um, I just want to kind of go over some of the rules and etiquette for when we are operating on our site, on our Blackboard site. So here I'm going to go to the page. This is from my view. Obviously your view will be a little bit different when you're on the web, on the web space. But I um, just kind of want to go through a little bit and talk about some of the etiquette. So one of the first things you see here is when we have this, uh, is this module 2 application. So this kind of gives us a base setting of what we're trying to do, what we're trying to learn in this course, what we're trying to accomplish. So obviously, uh, we're trying to develop a time management plan, working with student athletes that just kind of ensure success both on and off the field. Um, one of the first things you see then on the site is this test one area right here. Um, obviously, one of the basic rules, no cheating on tests. There's uh, the, everything in this course is working on independently when it comes to something like a test or a quiz. Um, but that's just one of the most basic things, be there make sure just that you're working doing your own work and doing it on time now as we build through this course more we'll have discussion board posts and things of that nature and you know some of the rules you'll find that just right in this area as well or on this on the side where the discussion boards are actually going to be due um but there you know it's going to be uh, make sure you're getting your work done on time make sure you're res responding to others we're going to have three um, three responses to uh, classmates, and in, in these responses, they must be um, they must be productive. They can't just be agreeing. Yeah, I agree. Great post. We need to have some insight, some depth into um, different parts of that uh, discussion board. Um, another aspect is when we build and we get more assessments and more assignments uh, on the web space. Would be completing the the um, your assignments on time. We have a zero late policy. There's no late, uh, no late work accepted. Um, this is just some of the etiquette things, some of the housekeeping work for uh, us as students. I um, look forward to working with each and one of y'all, each and every one of y'all, and just uh, hope to get kind of really into this material and see how we can build a good time management plan for student athletes and be really productive. Another aspect I want to bring, just bring up real quick, that I kind of want to include into our uh, teaching is just this web space here. Uh, my web space is kind of a portal, so to speak, where student athletes can kind of have a home for their schoolwork and their athletics. So as you can see here, I pulled over to it. It's just a nice, simple Google site. But this is kind of an example of what I want to work on here a little bit. So say this, you know, they're in an Econ 1000 class. You're a collegiate student athlete. You can get to this website and condense all your stuff in your life that goes down to your academics. So you can have every class posted with the pop quiz links, assignment links. Um, over here, you can go to athletics tab where you have pictures from your game or announcements for your next weightlifting session. So this is something I'm going to implement into our website as well, into our learning space. It's not up quite yet, um, but here is just going to be another space where etiquette-wise, it's pretty simple. Just Make sure that you're doing the right things on the site and just trying to be productive um, in making the website better with better ideas. Um, I want to thank you all. I'm looking forward to just working with everyone in this course. Thank you.